Okay, uh, let's see. So we were recording. Good. Everything is good. Let's go into the forest dungeon and let's just, let's kick some ass. And I want to buy that decoration. Dude, I thought the decorations would just make more people roll through. But no, the decorations seem to be the, uh, the way that you get the extra, the extra, like, upgrades in the shop. Which to me is real useful. Oh man, I two shot dudes now. That, this is why, this is how I'm going to, um, I'm going to beat this game. Sheer financial weight. Oh, these guys don't do contact damage anymore. That's the other thing. Um, I wonder, I wonder if part of the reason why I'm having like more positive, I'm having more positive experience in this is because, uh, I'm, I'm having a more positive experience in this game, and I think it's because the later dungeons are better designed. This is, um, this is actually like a, I'm not going to say a, a weird part of games, um, but this is, this is one thing I've noticed with a lot of, ow. A lot of, like, early access games and stuff. It's not infrequent for the, like, first couple levels to feel real dumpy in comparison to, uh, to the later stuff. And it's, this is, like, a consistent thing across, like, all games. I guess this is a problem with game development in general, but early access, I find, tends to fall victim to it the most. Where you might have... Wow. Whatever that bird thing was just died. I didn't even notice it. I was like, oh, there's a thing there, and it's gone. Sure. Uh, let's see, we've already done that. But, like, uh... I was, you know, I was kind of having a rough time on the first couple levels, mainly just because nothing changed. It wasn't interesting anymore. Um, and the mechanics weren't, you know, hadn't changed enough that I was like, yeah, okay, this feels fresh. Uh, with games like Tower of Guns, uh, Joe actually added new, new rooms to, ooh, ooh, we need this. Uh, Joe actually added a bunch of new rooms to the, uh, to all levels, not just not just the early ones, uh, as well as adding like a secret level at the end. Ow. And so when the uh, when the game finally finally hit full release, it was it, yeah, obviously the the initial levels that I'd been on weren't as interesting, um, but it they didn't feel as stale as they could have, um, and so I, I've been. I kind of use Tower of Guns as my gold standard for early access. And this isn't bad, and this wasn't exactly early access, because my early access was a Kickstarter thing. They didn't really mean for it to be handled in this way. Okay, we're not done yet. Um, but it, it tinges my perspective nonetheless. I really like the healing fountain. That was kind of a brilliant idea. They could have done something like uh, Unworthy with the like pseudo Estus thing, or you know, a bunch of other games. I guess Dead Cells does it too. But just having like a, a fixed place with like I want to say it's 75 to 100 HP worth of healing. It might be a percentage actually. Oh, left side sparkle. Uh, the left side sparkle. I know about that sparkle. You mean a sparkle in here? I don't see a sparkle in this room. But yes, left side. Really now. Yeah, by the way, when I'm talking about sparkles, it's not the eyes in the tree trunk. Sparkles only happen in the room if you enter it for the first time. Oh, good to know. Alright, well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna 
Piss off the ghost. Don't have any time for it here. Oh. Oh, he was waiting for me this time. That's dirty. Okay, well, we're good. So sparkles only happen when you enter a room for the very first time. That's a that's actually rather important. No. Now we do have a new ish zone thing. We're still more or less on the first level. Uh, let's see. This stuff sells for... Haven't sold one of these yet. Haven't sold one of these yet. I've sold these. Thousand is too cheap for them. I like my enchanting materials, but I do not need them that much. Let's check this out. It's a... Probably going to be a problem. Right up lava. Ow. Woo, boy. Okay, so I can hit them regardless. They roll at you, and then they spit lava at you. But you know what I got? I got gumption. And arrow cheese. Well, this is going to be worth a lot of money, and is also going to completely mess up my inventory. I don't know. It's going to do things. Oh. Did the other loot disappear? It looks like it did. That's kind of an inconvenient that they just poofed out of existence, but whatever. I really wish I could stunlock those guys. Also, ouch. Let's see. What does the ghost do if it catches you? It murders your ass. Uh, let's see. Read... More patterns and secrets. We already know that. Oh, good. You can skip that now. Okay, so we know... We know whatever dungeon that this one is. Uh, we know that's not insurmountable. A pain in the ass, but mainly just because I don't do enough damage. The, the enemy patterns aren't... So, my biggest fear with games like these... Is, um... Uh, is that the... The enemies are going to get faster and faster, um, and not, you know, not be beatable. Um, and that's always kind of a, that's always kind of a problem in games. Uh, where it's like, yeah, I am 100% down for, uh, continuing this game, but you have introduced a bunch of new mechanics and, like, new enemies and stuff that are way harder, uh, than I was really prepared for. I can sell these... It's worth some, but it's still vendor trash, comparatively. Can the ghost be murdered? Sadly, no. The ghost is, uh, unmurderable. Yeah, we'll take strong monsters over fast monsters any day. Yeah. My loot. I don't know if it's that helpful. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's decurse that, or reveal that, I guess. Would be the word I'd use. I'm hoping I can get the uh, upgrade materials for my sword. Ow. I'm really glad we got that armor upgrade, by the way. Ooh, ooh, turgid, turgid pile. Uh, let's see, what do we, what do we even sell? What is, what is even worth? The strong leaves were worth some. Yeah, they're, they're actually worth a decent amount. I've got a bunch of these mushrooms. What are the mushrooms worth? Mushrooms are worth nothing. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. And yeah, these are not worth that much either. Yeah, it's pure acid, but I like to call them turgid refuse. Or I just like the word turgid. Fun word. Who 
came up with the word turgid? Is that Jabberwocky? Is that... Is, was that C.S. Lewis? C.S. Lewis is the one that came up with Jabberwocky, yeah. I don't remember. Hang out over here, and where are you aiming, good sir? Yeah, so I'm gonna have to upgrade this bow. It barely does damage. In fact, I might actually just replace the, replace the bow with the more expensive variant. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this. I know the, these things are worth a, a butt ton. That's not worth it. Blade leaves. How much are blade leaves worth? Not much. So I can kind of live without them. Oops. Oh, no. Balls, balls, balls. That hurt. Do I have anything that I can send home? No. So what I should probably do is... Sell that. Uh, sell the life fluid. How much is life fluid worth? Not as much. Take those. Switch these out. I'm just going to go back. I've got too many valuable things. I was hoping to get a sword upgrade here. Uh, but it looks like I'm out of luck. At least for this floor. Uh, let's see. Can I just, can I just drop something? No, it doesn't actually look like there's an option to just drop. I guess I could put it in the chest. I'm just going to put that over for a second. These are worth nothing. But I don't mind that much. It's all the magic mushroom. Back here, move this over. Okay, let, let's go back. Let's see, so items marked with question marks are unidentif unidentified items, right? Yes. Uh, usually they tend to be the more valuable ones. They're very middling, middling to valuable. They're rarely the, like, uh, really expen expensive things, and they're very rarely garbage. Uh, so I always keep them around. Hawker, let's bring him in. See, does the writing next to the healing fountain change every time? Nope, almost never, in fact. I think it's totally static, which is why I don't bother reading it. it sucks. Ah, fellow merchant, by your looks, you must be Will. Thank you for requesting my card in Renoka. My name is Alan, and my crafted decorations remind people what it's like to feel again. If your shop is in need of a little decor, stop by Hawkers. Okay, so... Increases the wait time. Oh, visitors wait in queue. Max number of visitors in the shop. Time the shop can be open. Okay. Craft golem crystals. Let's craft golem books. Speed of visitors. Max visitors. Generous tip to their payment. Delivery date of shop request. Shop requests? And I don't have enough gold for any of these. Okay, so the dungeon we went into with the uh, lava dudes is the next one. Max number of visitors to this shop. Things might get a little hectic. Oh, and it's done that thing again. Yeah, reducing the probability of thieves. It sounds good. I'll get it tomorrow or something. Um, thieves don't bug me that much. They should. They will. Let's see. Now, is there? There is some stuff that I want to hold on to in here. So we've still got some more of the turgid lumps. Got some logs, got some other stuff. Oh, you know, that's something I can probably take a look at. Will thieves steal your decorations? Very unlikely. Oh, interesting. This family portrait uh, makes it so people are more likely to tip. Okay. 
Okay. The speed. Max number of visitors in the shop. So we need we need some more space first. And yeah, I've got I've got a number of things that'll increase tipping. But we gotta work on that. Okay. Uh see I should probably Oh. I've got a forest history one, but I can I can sell that. We need a larger shop for decorations. Yeah, clearly. I guess that's what I'm gonna save up for today. Let's just grab some of these. I'm just gonna kind of sell whatever. I'm gonna sell everything. Except for that. We wanna we wanna hold on to the magic wood. That's what we care about. No. Freaking out again. That's that's what. What about you? I've got a lot to sell. Oh, um you know, I should probably I should probably get rid of these, because I'm not going to be selling the enchanting crystals. Okay. Light fluid sells for a fair bit. I don't know about light essence. Okay. And that'll be good enough. Summon the... Ch ch summon the suckers. Throw money at me, please. I wish to be wealthy. Yeah, I wonder if speed would actually be really helpful. Currently, I want to go for bang for my buck, but eventually we're going to want speed just to get people in and out. So this is still pr too pricey. So I guess that stuff is garbage. Have I sold this before? Guess not. Uh, let's probably no. Let's try. Let's try a thousand. I mean, I'm here to learn. What is valuable? Uh, let's see. Take that back. Move this over. Everything is a thousand from this area. Who knows what's worth what? Okay, uh, haven't tried this. Whatever this stuff's worth. Thousand! I feel like I'm robbing these people blind. Okay, which one had the bad price? So a thousand is is dirt cheap for this stuff, whereas this thousand is too much. Let's try seven hundred. Eh, let's try five hundred. It's too low. We'll find out. It looks like the prices on some of these are also changing too, uh, based on like availability. Oh well. A thousand. Okay, so the price of two thousand for those is very reasonable. Money. Okay. Haven't sold these yet. Oh, let's take them back then. Sell those for a thousand. Sell this. Wait. A thousand? No. It's supposed to be two thousand. I don't know why the price hasn't adjusted. Wait, what? I, oh, the the um the average sell price doesn't doesn't adjust until the next until the uh, the next setup. Okay. So they didn't like a thousand. I sold it for is it five hundred? They liked five hundred. And this was I set it for a thousand and thief tried to steal it. So I'm gonna assume that's that's reasonable. Okay, well we're here, we've got fertilizer, which I'm gonna sell for a thousand. It's poop! It's poop on a plate, I guess. Hard to say. Okay, we 
don't have much left. Okay, so 5,000 for, uh, for this is too much. Let's crank it down. Again, I guess same thing with the volatile spores. What do these people even use it for? I would love an explanation on like what some of these things are actually used for. And I have seen effectively nothing. Okay, so... No reaction on these things. I'll, I'll sell this one for 500. I'm gonna sell this for 5,000. Because I can reasonably get it. Have you sold any of this? No. Bring that back. We've got the diamagnetic sand. Do like 2,000 on the diamagnetic magnetic sand. One is like, buy my excretions. Oh, <laughs> you just had to go and... I'll call it out. Okay, so the 5,000 for the forest, uh, forest history is actually apparently a, a worthy price. Okay, what about this stuff? Didn't I just sell it? For... I don't know. I don't know why it's updating. But again, I'm more interested in getting rid of some of this stuff. I uh, haven't tried selling this yet. I'm more interested in getting rid of this stuff than I am directly in making money. Once we know what the prices are... There we go. There's our answer. That's too expensive. Okay, so 500 is much more reasonable. Place these back. That's the right price, right? No. No. Oh, I'm just... What? Alright. Saver and Saver Plus. Oh, we must have hit 50,000 and... Uh, We must have hit 50,000 and whatever today. Okay. If for whatever reason we have no seller reactions to this. I'm going to try 2,000 for these. One of them has got to be worth something. Assuming these people actually feel like buying them. Oh, uh, they better feel like buying some of this stuff. I am. Okay. They still don't like the price of the venomous spores. I guess it makes sense. You wouldn't exactly want to go buy venomous spores unless you're a crazy person. Though, I mean, I don't know. Seems kind of fair. Let's see. Anyone checked if the mirror prices are a multiple of the actually good selling prices? I could probably check. Okay, so that was the last person. I made a lot of money today. My inventory is still stupid high. Okay, so some of those things, low popularity. Everything else, gangbusters. Ah, uh, while well, we're here. That's worth, like, jack shit. Um... Wait, no, 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 no. I'm already selling one of those. Let's sell whatever that is for like 2,000. It might be useful later, but I didn't see it on the crafting list. So. And we've still got some things to get rid of, but not as much. We're, we're clearing it out. Let's see, somebody didn't, let, didn't like the price of the diamagnetic? Okay. Oh yeah, 2,000 was too much for somebody. Thank you. Unfortunately, it wasn't like updating some of the reactions, so I was kind of confused. So 1,000 was too much for the root, 500 was too much for that, and for some reason this is confusing to people. I don't know. Okay, so we are wealthy. What can I do? I still need more of those things. One more of those. I 
I'm probably going to stick with the bow down this tree just to see, just to see what I can do. Okay, so we want to upgrade the shop. Shop level 2. Or I guess level 3? I don't know. What do you count the first one as? Level level 0 or level level 1? I guess I'd probably call it uh, level 1. Just because. But yeah, I could enchant my weapon again. Uh, let's see. Shop, shop upgrades. So the next one's 120,000. That's a little bit much. 70,000. I could almost have gotten the gold cash register. Oh, that would have been lovely. You know, I might be able to I might be able to get it. Uh no, it would be tough. I'll live without it for now. Okay, potion. We just want one of these. Yeah, I'm not I'm not that money hungry right now. Enchantments. So I can upgrade this again. 16,000, sure. Oh, okay. So that's how enchantments work. You can enchant it up to the previous maximum-ish. What about the broom? How many times can I upgrade this broom? Okay. The broom goes up three times before it caps out. So that, that does mean the previous tiers aren't uh, as upgradable. Well, we've learned... That sale box might be good for unpopular or relatively cheap worthless items. Just get rid of them. Yeah, except for, like, I barely have any inventory that I... Uh, I have limited inventory space to bring back from the dungeon to begin with. So generally, I just sell those in the dungeons to begin with. So the broom is probably speedrunner strat. So you carry it around so you, so you zip through dungeons. I can one-shot those guys now. Uh, at least on this floor. That's that's good to know. Go this way. I don't know. Well, this is certainly going to make my experience on the first floor mad easy. I'll have to upgrade the the bed at some point too. No. Yeah, keep an eye out for uh, for sparkles. Again, I'm going to miss them. I generally the sparkle only appears the first time you enter a room, which kind of sucks for me because I'm usually more important. Okay, glow thingy first room. Uh, let's see, which one? Top, middle, bottom? Does it matter? I don't know. Let's go down. Well, this had a chest in it, but it's apparently empty. Hello. Yeah, being able to just one-shot suckers is really helpful. Obviously, we're going to need the next weapon level to, to really make the most of it. Yeah, the one thing that uh, makes me really happy about this this game, uh, the way they've they've set it up. No, not not this game. I guess really this dungeon. Um, the previous dungeon, almost every enemy had contact damage. I think there's only a small handful of enemies with contact damage in this one, and so it's really nice being able to adventure through and like dodge run around enemies without taking damage from them. Just the removal of contact damage from a game makes it so much better in my eyes. Or more tolerable, I guess? It might not, like, fix a game, but I'm definitely less mad about it. What? Oh, come on. I'm in here now. That hurts. Did not realize it could grab me from that range. Like, I'm trying to think of games... Oh, controller disconnected. Shit. Thanks. 
Real helpful. Okay. Oh, my controller's dead. Okay, we're good. You know, you'd think this game should auto-pause the moment uh, your controller disconnects. Oh well, it's not the end of the world. Sparkle? Oh, okay. We... Oh, we... What do we got in this one? Challenge room. I don't mind a challenge room. There's one down. Has it given me an extra chest? Perfect. Yes, it did give me a chest in the bottom left corner. Kind of hard to see, but it's there. And we get stuff. I actually rather enjoy the enemies in the forest now that uh, now that I'm experienced with them. More, more turgid globs. Oh. It also is significantly uh, more helpful when you can one-shot most enemies. One or two-shot. There's only one chest in here, so this one isn't as as worthwhile as some of the other ones are. But that's okay. Uh, let's stack these up. Sell you. I think those are worth like 500 apiece. The petals are barely worth anything. No. The mushrooms aren't worth much. This is why I don't need the discount box, because I can't keep this stuff. It does look like they had functionality for a, a second, um, a second backpack, but... No, that's not worth anything. There we go. We want these. Um, but I don't know if they're, they're gonna have it. It'd be nice if there was a second backpack. Ow. Mainly the reason why I'm killing... Ow. I'm sticking around here is... Uh, these guys are dropping resources I actually needed. I wonder how many times you can actually do this before you, like... Run out. I, I don't know, but it just gave me exactly what I needed. Uh, let's sell you. Strong leaves aren't worth that much. Venomous spores aren't worth much. What about blade leaves? Not that much. Okay. Let's see. We've got some vulnerable fruit. But they only stay vulnerable for so long. You know, we haven't actually sold any of these pots yet. But here, the old bulb. That. That is what we needed. Uh, let's switch these out. Alright. Everything is stable. Do we keep going? I don't know how long we have until this, like, totally dies. But I'm, I mean, it's board mode. Oh, there's our answer. Ooh, and it gave us a special, special chest. All right. I like special chests. It gave me a shit ton of old bulbs. Okay. So this will convert something over. So let's move this. Make five of those. I might just have to leave immediately. <laughs> Okay, uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to stick around. We don't- we don't need any more of that- those globs. Uh, let's send that back. I can have five of something. Well, we've got fruit, though forest fruits actually sell for a decent amount, too. I think I could be wrong. This is worth 2,000, though. Probably better than the forest fruits. Okay. Oh. 
I just realized I have one piece of red slime hanging out. Well, can I... Oh, can't do it again. But one way or another, uh, we just came out of that with um, a bit of a gold mine. Let's finish the floor off and then probably just leave. 